Let's go, since we're looking at some indie t-shirts, to the Indie Minute, Eamon. Indie Minute. Whoa, indie Minute. Uh, yeah, let's talk about indie wrestling for this week. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the stuff that happened this past weekend uh, with our good friends at Sogatron Media. Uh, Combat in Clearfield. Sorg, how was that show? Oh, it was a great. It was a good show as usually. These are kind of like the more spot shows that IWC does because they went. It's weird to see an indie do like kind of house show kind of situations. Um, mm. But this is a great actually charity event for big uh, big brothers, big sisters out there. Raised over five hundred dollars for that. Uh, did some great stuff. Uh, they did. Uh, they did. They did some interesting things where, um, and they do this sometimes when they go out to these towns like Clearfield and stuff, where the faces and heels kind of flip here and there. Uh, founding fathers were the were the good guys for the night. Uh, some great, actually, words of encouragement from uh, Dennis Gregory uh, out there, who's who's been, you know, you know, kind of kind of a, a bad guy for a while out there. Uh, great matches. There was uh, things that I have never seen in pro wrestling before. Um, you ever see where they have a little guy and so they had an eight man tag and they grab everybody's the guys each of their limbs and just toss them up in the air? Sure. No, no we've had this has had somewhere, right? Um, so, Probably. So they they drop chest flexor on top or maybe vice versa on top of Corey Futuristic in a sixty nine position and did it to both of them. Um, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, and they just like threw them all up in the air. Um, and, and another thing I've, I've never seen before is a double doomsday device. Hmm. As in, like, uh, uh, two guys stack shoulder on shoulder on shoulder. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, and getting close. So that, that was fun. So it, it, fun stuff like that. Uh, a great commentary. Of course, I'm listening all night to Joe Dabrowski, and he has some great guests in Dalton Castle, Bobby Fish from Ring of Honor. Uh, Aiden Vale getting uh, try the mic. Uh, so uh, all together, a really good show, really fun show. Um, a pretty good main event there with uh, Justin Idol against John McChesney. Uh, good match against Bobby Fish and friend of the show Andrew Palace. Well, friend of the show Bobby Fish as well, I guess now. Um, They're all great friends. match between Mike Elgin and Logan Shulo. Uh, Shulo. Mike you know, Elgin, uh, famous in the Minnesota area for. Yeah. Uh, his, uh, his cell phone protector commercials that you can you can, you can watch if you're in <laughs> the Minnesota sure region. Last night. This is hold on. Let me see if I can pull that up. No, I can't. I don't have the Facebook. Oh, up. Michael Elgin. Oh, Michael Elgin. Uh, super Michael awesome Elgin. guy. Super awesome wrestler. Not a good pick in in commercials. Um, he wasn't too bad. Apparently, his name's just Unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> so go check that. Out. What, what what do you search to find that thing if you're not on the Facebook group? Uh, if you search Michael Elgin commercial, you could probably find it. All right, excellent, excellent. Uh, and it was oh, funny because you posted yeah. that. I just listened that day to the uh, Mike Elgin uh, Art of Wrestling uh, mm. uh, uh, thing. So uh, that was pretty cool. They were talking about seminars and stuff, and you know whether they wanted to do them or not or, or participate. It, it was a really good talk uh, uh, for all those guys. Um, and of course, also this weekend there, I, I got to see a little bit. Of course, uh, the B team went out uh, and filmed RWA uh, Open Season Five, I believe it is. Um, great main event with friends of, friend of the show G Raver against uh, Ashton Amherst. It was, I believe, a no DQ. I saw that there were ladders and tables involved. Some crazy stuff going on out there. Um, there is a guy that he's a larger fellow, and I think he stole the Taz Tasmaniacs gimmick because hmm. he came out uh, chained up, uh, led by security. And I, I saw the intro earlier today, and, and, and he completely, I think, stole the Tasmaniacs gimmick. Uh, but he does very well at it, actually, um, and actually mm. chased off everybody, all, all, all the uh, uh, announcers into the corner. Um, see if there's anything else just looking through this. Um, other, than that, other than that, you know, great, great cruiserweight stuff. They got a lot of great cruiserweights uh, in that company. Uh, and, of course, uh, uh, Lodi, WCW's old uh, sign guy from the flock, in, involved as well, and uh, and uh, Ryan Mitchell, Ryan Edmonds, getting the crowd riled up as always. Uh, but you can check out what's going on with them, rwa rwalive.com. We'll have the wrap up up here in a couple days, so you can see a little more in depth. But go to look at the old ones, you get an idea what's going on there, all the crazy stuff. They have the teasers and everything, uh, just like they have over at iwcwrestling.com as well. Uh, so go check. That's what's going on around here in the Pittsburgh area. Um, but I'm hearing some good news coming up. You, did you know? 
I didn't realize Ring of Honor is in town the weekend of Royal Rumble. Really? Yes. Huh. Like, what? Well, they're they're having it downtown at the convention center, which confused mm. me. It's a huge convention center You're in the middle of downtown, right? Uh, and I'm like, I think they're having it downtown in half of the convention. Well, yeah, center. it's not taking up the entire. Well, they didn't even take up the entire ice gardens up uh, down in Aaron mm-hmm. Rastraver. Uh, so they'll get a, a quarter, quarter of the convention center. center. They're going to get about an eighth of the convention center uh, to film their <laughs> little show here. While there's probably a coin convention on the other side, uh, but still, no, it's great that it's downtown. I think more people have a chance to experience it. But of course, I, I just realized over the weekend that is Royal Rumble weekend. So, and and we know Ring of Honor usually will have shows around the weekends of like the WrestleMania Fan Fest and everything, and kind of try to ride that a little bit. I'd love to see if we got like Dragon Gate <laughs> right or something it. along it, right? I mean, wouldn't mm. that be great if we started getting Dragon Gate Evolve around because it is like a Royal Rumble. It is at least the Northeast. Maybe we get a little more out of it. Uh, so I'm looking really forward to that kind of weekend of wrestling we're going to have here in Pittsburgh. Uh, so Absolutely. Kind of, kind of a. It, it feels like it's going to be a a small WrestleMania experience that we're going to get in this town. Mm. So I'm I'm really looking forward to it. So um, what else is going on out there, Eamon? There are tons of stuff all around the United States uh, in the indie wrestling world. First, I want to talk about an event that I will be attending uh, this weekend in Austin, Texas for Anarchy Championship Wrestling. They're holding their annual Lone Star Classic Tournament. It is a tournament of 12 competitors from ACW competing to uh, become Lone Star Classic Champions. So it's always a fun show for them every year. Uh, If you want to go uh, check that out, that's at the Mohawk uh, this Sunday, the 17th in downtown Austin, Texas. Uh, if you want tickets for that event and more information on all uh, what you can expect, you can go to anarchychampionshipwrestling.com to get all the info for that. And yeah, if you're in the Austin area, I hope to see you there. Uh, also, there are tons of events this weekend uh, from you know, all around if you're in the East Coast and beyond. Um, one of the companies that uh, I want to mention uh, that's having a big event this weekend, another big tournament, uh, Really interesting stuff from Inner Species Wrestling. If you haven't heard from them, they're the uh, they're a Canadian group that also has done some shows in the U.S. They're Shakara, but a bit more adult, a bit more edgier. These guys, uh, these guys actually shared a booth next to us at WrestleCon. Yeah, I, I, I think you mentioned something about that before. Uh, they're they're famous. If you ever seen the uh, uh, infamous Lego Death Matches, they're the ones that originated it. Uh, they do a lot of fun stuff, and they're holding their annual Burger King of the Ring tournament. Uh, mm-hmm. which is th- for the first year, this will be a tag team tournament. So it's Burger King of the ring double whopper. So yay puns. Uh, it's going to be in, in Danbury, Connecticut. That on, uh, the is 16th, the second which... Panda I've seen in wrestling. The first one was on strangle mania <laughs> two from Japan. Yes. Indeed. Giant Panda. There's a, uh, there's a ton of, ton of really fun, interesting talent. Uh, in air species wrestling. Uh, that's going to be this Saturday, the 16th at the heirloom arts theater in Danbury, Connecticut. Uh, so if you want to go check them out, I believe the website is interspeciesWrestling.com where you can get more information about burger King of the ring. Uh, and you can check out all their, uh, previous events, all their great stuff at smartmarkvideo.com and smvod.com. If you want to go check them out. And randomly uh, Eddie Kingston's in it. <laughs> Eddie Kingston. Hey, there, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Eddie Kingston. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, but yeah, uh, there's going to be some fun stuff there. Also, uh, if you're in the uh, New York area, I encourage you to attend uh, two Dragon Gate USA events that will be help- happening this weekend on the 16th in Queens, New York, and on the 17th in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, very stacked card with a lot of the Dragon Gate talent mixed with some of the best talent in the U.S. And just named the main event for the uh, Brooklyn show on the 17th, Johnny Gargano is defending his Open the Freedom Gate Championship against uh, returning to the independent world Chris Hero. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that should be very fun. I believe there's iPay-per-views available for those events on DGUSA.tv and it's through uh, WWN Live. So uh, hopefully go check them out. Uh, go support Dragon Gate USA. They got a fun mix of talent. Uh, and, yeah, it just looks like an interesting uh, two-show uh, weekend for them. And uh, the final thing I want to talk about is a, another tournament uh, that is happening. Woo! It's, tournaments! It's tournament, I love tournaments! Tournament <clears throat> tournament yeah yeah uh i mentioned this a couple weeks ago the tournament for tomorrow which is happening for beyond wrestling their second ever tournament for tomorrow uh, uh the uh the 17th of providence rhode island they're taping 
uh, I believe, Block A for the tournament Friday and then Block B for the tournament uh, Saturday. And those are just uh, their sort of like tapings that they're holding that they normally do where it's just in front of the wrestlers. The finals of the tournament will be on the 17th in Providence, Rhode Island, along with a, a stat card that includes Biff Busick versus Eddie Edwards in a 60-minute Ironman match. Uh, Michael Elgin will be there taking on Jaka. Uh, Chris Dickinson versus Ring of Honor star Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fun stuff. Uh, uh, and like I said, the finals of the tournament for tomorrow, uh, which is also a mixed tournament uh, featuring stars from Beyond Wrestling and from Women's Superstars Uncensored. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting stuff. So I encourage you to check out Beyond Wrestling. Go support them. Go follow everything they're doing. You can always follow them uh, on their YouTube channel. They're always putting up free matches that you can check out and go see uh, their stacked talent roster. Uh, Go support them. Uh, One of the participants, and I have a little bit of favoritism, will be uh, Matthew Palmer, who's debuting for Beyond Wrestling from Texas. Uh, he's a great Texas talent, and this could be a real big chance for him to emerge. Uh, but there's also a lot of great talent from the East Coast. Uh, I believe a uh, couple talents from different parts of the U.S. So it's it's going to be really sick. So go check out Beyond Wrestling. Go support them. And you can get in, more information and tickets for tomor- tournament for tomorrow uh, at lookmanofans.com. Respect to Beyond Wrestling for like having a different concept because it was like – you know, the, the, this this wrestling without the fans in front of the wrestlers, and and for them still going. I mean, I see they have sponsors for this event actually, uh, and and I know mm-hmm. it was a different. Uh, I, I know I've mentioned it before, but National Pro Wrestling Day, this idea that they were there and like the wrestlers came out and were on the on the on the ring apron watching the match and everything. Uh, not in a lumberjack style; they were just there watching and pounding on the ring and stuff. Um, it was a really good concept, you know. Uh, and, and brings a different feel to it, and a more pure wrestling, you know, kind of idea to it. So I'm really, I'm really digging that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, go support all the indie wrestling that's happening. Uh, and that, my friends, is the indie minute for this week. Excellent. Thanks for that. And of course, uh, and I might have just turned. No, oh, my phone just died. Uh, if my phone was alive here, and I click on the right thing, I'd be able to show you the Wrestling Mayhem Show app. It's on the iOS App Store, uh, Amazon App Store on your iPhone, your Android device. Uh, quick hits for uh, all the audio for the show, as well as bonus content that we put out each week uh, alongside the shows, uh, and uh, qu- uh, quick links to our Twitter, to our Facebook, to our phone number for you to uh, drop a line to the hotline. And, and all kinds of other stuff. So please check that out. It's $1.99. It supports the show, and we really appreciate it. We know a lot of you guys appreciate it out there, so we're going to keep pushing out uh, bonus content for you. Uh, so with that, uh, let's take a little look, a little clips of what's going into this week's, uh, a little taste of this week's uh, WrestleMania show, Gold. That's exclusively for that app. <laughs> 